1999, I collapsed with a suspected aneurysm in my brain. And I found myself on an operating table, watching on a monitor the inside of my brain real time. And suddenly I was faced with the fact that my whole personality, my whole being was contained in my brain. And it was a complete sort of philosophical conundrum. Who was I? What was the relationship between my brain and myself? One of the things about brain scans is they're incredibly beautiful. They look like Chinese prints of trees. And you become very aware that the natural world around you, trees and, and things that are growing, it's exactly the same landscape as you've got inside your brain or your body. So when I was better, I contacted the brain surgeon who'd done the scan and said, could I come and work with you? And it suddenly became clear to me over a, a few months that my subject was a relationship between the self and your physical brain. This project at the National Portrait Gallery is a series of three portraits of three people with epilepsy. Epilepsy is a neurological condition that is to do with too much electricity in the brain. I'd never really thought that I was fired by electricity. The idea of us being plugged into electricity to exist. I always like my work to look as if it's just landed on the paper and it's just about to move off. So electricity provided me with a wonderful subject matter because it is transitory, it just moves in the moment. Elizabeth was the first of the three portraits I did. Her big fear, she was married, she was young and she wanted a family. The medication can impact on your fertility. You have to make a decision that you probably have to come off the medication because you don't want the medication to interfere with the foetus. It's a difficult decision. I'd gone to the Hunterian Museum in London, and in there they have something called the Evelyn Tables, which are these beautiful 17th century early anatomical specimens where they somehow managed to extract the arteries out of a human body and had glued them down onto a huge piece of oak. And I just fell in love with the imagery. When I was thinking about Elizabeth, I began to remember these anatomical dissections. I placed her face in her womb because of her fear of not being able to have children. And I built these enormous eyes at the side because they were staring back at the world. So immediately you have a portrait developing that's out of kilter with real life, but maybe having epilepsy makes you out of kilter with yourself. Print for me is a very magical form and you can make things happen on the plate that is chemical and to me that reflects the chemistry that's going on in the brain. I cover the etching plate with a thick layer of black ink and the blacks in my work I like to feel I could dive into them. It looks a bit like deep space, the stuff that we're made from. And so I suppose the portrait is quite aggressive in a way. It's showing the body and it's also showing this very beautiful face at the same time and trying to make the audience question who they are and certainly who Elizabeth is. The portraits seem to reference the self, but they don't really. And I think in my work, I'm playing with that. I'm trying to give you a look inside Elizabeth but in the end, it's still just anatomical experience and the secret of Elizabeth is really still contained in herself. <laughs>